Okay, we're going to have a look at um, creating a new Mercurial repository. There's a couple of ways with the UI or with the command line. We'll just stick with the UI for a bit. So right click, create the repository here. Click the create button and we're done. Okay, we can use the commit tool to tell you what we've got in our repository. And there's lots of stuff that we really just don't want. So that's where hgignore comes in. It's just a text file and you can edit it like this. Okay, what do we want to ignore? Well, let's go have a bit of a look at the command line. hg status is a command that you'll probably use often. Right, back to our hgignore and what can we get rid of? Well, we get rid of Rashapa bin, obj's, the output folder, uh, suo, that's looking better. And a couple more resharper files to get rid of. Well, not rid of, we'll just ignore them. Okay, now that's looking good. Everything here in that list is what we want to add to our repository. We'll do it using hgadd. Nice simple command. Okay, you can commit from the command line. And there we go, I've just committed our first entry into the repository. Now you can have a look at the, at the changelog, and there we see it in the nice graphical changelog. That comes out looking like spectacular train tracks after a while, um, but it's pretty straightforward to start with. Okay, where are we going to push this thing? Right. Okay, default is where it'll go, oddly enough, by default. So we'll send it up to palaso.org to the uh, dev2009 project that we created. I don't want to keep on entering my username and password, so we'll let it remember it. You can see that Redmine's actually created our repository for us. We haven't actually pushed anything yet, just to be clear. So it's saying that there isn't anything there. Not unexpected. Okay, now we go to the synchronized tool. Now here you can use outgoing to see what you've got that the uh, internet repository hasn't. Uh, so we'll just push our stuff up there and we're done. Let's have a look at the uh, Redmine and see what's come up. And there it is, our first push to Redmine. 